Yo, what's good people, it's Wotubis here and welcome to another video! Last week I was talking about reasons why uh, you should be releasing your music, why you shouldn't hesitate from releasing your stuff uh, to the internet, to a broader audience. But today I want to discuss the opposite point of view, why you shouldn't be releasing your music to the audience. <laughs> And to be exact, I'm going to discuss situations I've experienced seeing other people uh, uploading their music to the internet. Because I'm often seeing really common mistakes uh, that could be easily avoided and that would make the song, the release much better. The first thing is sound quality. And just to be clear, I'm not thinking about having a studio at home. I'm seeing lots of people recording their songs on their phones. And there is nothing wrong with recording on the phone. You can record some ideas, you can you know, make some demos, but if you are releasing a song that you want other people to listen to, you can't really expect someone to uh, listen to a song which sounds like it's recorded on a phone. Of course, there are some tips and tricks to make this sound better. There were a few songs, popular songs, recorded on the phone. So I don't mean it's absolutely impossible, but I'm thinking more about people that are just uploading raw things uh, out of their phone uh, to SoundCloud and stuff. Nowadays, you can buy a good quality condenser microphone uh, really cheap and trust me your sound quality even out of the microphone like directly raw signal will sound far more better than anything recorded on your phone you will have the full spectrum you will hear the bass from your voice um, the whole recording will just sound fuller so if you are thinking about releasing your music more seriously invest at least 100 bucks in a good uh, USB microphone and this will change a lot second thing is mixing and mastering and I am fully aware that most of the beginning artists uh, that are starting to upload their music to the internet don't really want to spend uh, sometimes any money for mixing and mastering and that is completely uh, understandable but I think you shouldn't release raw recordings so what you can do you can watch my short tutorial about proper vocal recording and I'm planning to make a video about uh, mixing vocals simple way to mix vocals and it's not that hard you can learn it yourself and you can uh, make your songs sound better in just a few steps which can be a game changer uh, when you are in the phase where you don't want to spend any money for uh, your artist career but you want to make your songs sound better and if you want to be serious about uh, releasing your music uh, just invest in a good mixing and mastering from my experience it's good to have someone from the outside uh, listening to your track taking care of the way it sounds like because most of the times it gives you better results than if you were tweaking it yourself and don't get me wrong, I'm not saying like go to my website and uh, let me mix your tracks but I think investing very little amounts of money uh, like 20 bucks for a full mixing and mastering you know, with all this stuff from someone who's not experienced it's not worth it, I think it's better to pay someone four times more uh, and achieve a good result rather than having four songs that are just very poorly mixed and eventually the way uh, your songs are mixed uh, can change a lot because first of all it gives pleasure to listen to a song which is uh, mixed really good second thing if your mix has like a character you know you are listening to a track and you hear the way it's mixed and you instantly think of this particular artist Suicide Boys for example uh, have this really like raw kind of sound. I'm talking about early Suicide Boys, like 2016, 2017. And it may not be perfect mix, but it was uh, properly glued together. It was really wide, which was really uh, characteristic. And after all, it just sounded like Suicide Boys, for example. And the third thing I want to talk about today is consistency. Let's say you just finished a song. You want to upload it to the internet, you want to see those likes, those comments, but it's not uh, that easy. As I was talking in the previous video last week, uh, it's not like those platforms, SoundCloud, etc. will promote your uh, track for free just because it's good, even if it's the best track in the world. You have to take care uh, of bringing in the listeners. So I think it's far better to make a plan to make a schedule of releasing your songs because if you are making everything emotionally like you are hyped up because you just finished a song but in three days you will think it's not that good and you can't do anything really 
uh, about it. Finish your song, wait a few days, listen to it once again, find if there's anything you want to change or anything that could be done better and then make a plan and release it. Promote it before you release it because otherwise no one would know that you are releasing a song. You know what I mean? You need to build a kind of hype for uh, your person, your song. Uh, maybe interest people with something else than your music because uh, I think it's it's not always the music uh, that uh, catches people to a certain person, to a certain artist. It's also the artist, the character of the person uh, itself. And just do it consistently, even if it's once a month, but do it consistently so people are seeing that you are doing something all the time. I'm not saying like dropping a song every week or two times a week. Do it consistently so people can expect something from you. For example, if they listen to you this month and they just saw your post next month or they just were like, oh, there was this guy and maybe I'll check him out once again and they will see you dropped something new and that way you will start building a following because people will expect something to happen on your profile, on your Spotify, SoundCloud, etc. So long story short, you shouldn't be releasing your music if you don't have any plan for it and if you are expecting something bigger to happen, actually. That's pretty much all I wanted to say today. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button with this notification bell so you won't miss any uh, other videos coming up and let me know what would you like to hear about in the next videos. The comment section is always yours. My name is Dominic, you've been watching Vodzo Beats. Keep the good vibes alive.